Oh yes, uh, GE is uh, releasing some new Sonic merchandise. Uh, if if y'all seen uh, some of the uh, the pictures of the plushies that were advertised, uh, you got like uh, Netflix. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, but the yeah, one I was not expecting the plush of, of Netflix at all. So no, 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 no. My the biggest surprise Netflix. I had the biggest surprise I had Whisper. The fact oh that they got, they're going yeah. to have a whisper plush. I want the whisper plush I, so much. I'm like, so happy to see Whisper getting a lot more love. <laughs> and all I can, and all I can say is, finally, we can make all these characters affordable plushies. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Gemroll, uh, Gemroll. I don't know. Uh, and the dark chow plushie I see on here is just like, oh, there's so many. I want them all. They're I mean, just... I have a I have a dark child plushie right here in the oh, background. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I haven't been keeping up with the plushies as much lately. I've just been so busy. It's just like, what? You know? <laughs> um, yeah, no, me neither. The only reason, like, why I was starting to care about it was because Mephilus was trending on Twitter, and it was exactly. because of the plushies. Uh, so that, that it's a very high demand. So that I one. wish I the one plush I'd love to have in my home is Mephilus. Oh yeah. Just as a flower. Like I saw that yes. trending on Twitter, and my smile yeah. couldn't get any bigger. I'm like, finally, keep showing <laughs> love for Mephilus, man. I feel like it, I feel like at that point your grin will be as as wide and big as the Grinch, apparently. <laughs> I know the Grinch more or be. less. More or less. Yeah. It's, it seems like some of the, some of the uh, characters from the past are suddenly suddenly getting more attention nowadays, especially with Sonic 06. It seems it's just like uh, Sonic 06 maybe getting that second glance at a little bit. Maybe because, like yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like if Sonic 06 were to ever be remade, they need to fix everything. Yeah. They need to remake Absolutely. the story. They need to remake yeah, the story. Like they need, really to fix the, thing. <laughs> they need yeah. to fix the gameplay. Everything needs to be fixed. Everything needs to be fixed, yes. I mean, I think, like, the, 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 everything <laughs> and make a game from scratch and just name it Sonic the Hedgehog 06 revised. There was a good point I there mean, that a lot of people are starting to take a glance at 06. It's almost like, like it wasn't as like, bad as people like a, thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a recent uh, now I, from, I, like, no, I, oh, I thought this game was bad to, you know, uh, it just has a lot of m missed potential. Yeah, and we were rushed, and yeah. all these things, and uh, Bug it was buggy as crap. I mean, at one point, I just gave up because I I almost tossed my remote at a screen, and I almost never do that. It was it was oh, that yeah. bad. Uh, wow. the, now the story. Oh, <laughs> now the storyline itself. I didn't mind the storyline for the most part. The only thing I hated was the very end when they did that whole time reset thing. Oh wait, uh, spoilers. Of course, it's only been what? Uh, 10, <laughs> it's like 15. If, if you don't know about Sonic yeah. 06, that's kind of on if you, you at this know, point, unless you're like a newer fan. Just watch, mm -hmm. just watch gameplay footage on YouTube. Yeah. They don't know what the ending is. <laughs> so, anyway, I did not like the very, very end of it. Um, I, I don't like the whole time reset thing because it just means they never learned their lesson about anything ever. Yeah. Uh, uh, keep in mind, Sonic. The reason why Sonic 06 is can now because Sonic Generations. Somewhat. It, it's a debate. It, yeah. But it's a good one. Next time, on okay. so next time on Sonic R Star, the huge debate on um, if Sonic 06 was ever can. <laughs> curb your expectations. Under the news topics, you can have that underneath an opinion piece. Now, uh, I can qualify. Exactly. That, that's a little, that's a little uh, manageable here. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say something a little uh, controversial, or maybe it's uh, contrarian, but as much as everyone makes fun of it, and as much as everyone kind of hates it, I didn't mind the whole at least Sonic Kiss thing during the climax. I really didn't. I just thought that was, you know, just... You're right, that really is an unpopular opinion. <laughs> it is an unpopular opinion, but that's very interesting. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. <laughs> I'm just going to quote the one Sonic sort. What's weirder, kissing a corpse or kissing an animal? I mean, first of all, Jessica Rabbit. Well, that's true. Fair point. Fair, fair <laughs> point, exactly. That's a fair point. Second, Snow White. That's true. No. That's true. That's true. 
Like, I'm not on the level of, oh, this is one of the worst things in Mazda. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, it's still pretty iffy, but it's oh, not yeah. god awful. No, I have, no. To, I have to latch onto that because I think that the a lot of, like, the, oh, it's so bad is more of them latching onto something, a uh, part of the game, and the just exploding it and making it this big thing just to be like, oh, six is bad. It's on the hate train that just keeps going. That's basically what it of, is. Speaking of train, Sonic, so did we take the train before chasing after mm -hmm. me? Because there's a train level in Sonic 06. Yeah, there is that train level. You are right. Also, I feel like um, when Elise was discussing Sonic, it felt like, in a way, it was playing through all the Disney fairy tale cliches. True love's first kiss, they wake up. Arise hey, from the yeah. bed. <laughs> Snow White, Sleeping Beauty. Those are the only two I can think of. Yeah. Let's um, make it a hybrid. I, I guess uh, I guess Sega's not used to working with uh, princesses in a Sonic uh, franchise. I feel like it, you know, I feel like it'd be funny yeah. if, if they did like the Princess and the Frog in which at least gets into Sonic and at least turns into a hedgehog. I would I would be <laughs> that in that would be boat hilarious. There. Yeah, that would be I hilarious. Would be in that boat there. But then you have to remember Oh wait, Sally happened. Oh, like, oh wait. Oh wait. Oh, oh, oh. Well Sally yeah, happened, like... but uh, the official Sega Japan wants nothing to do with Sally, apparently. Right. Oh. Or like really any of like the mm. Western branch of characters. And we even though even though Blaze even though even though Blaze is a princess, she's more of a, it seems like she was tagged on as a princess as an afterthought rather than her official title. Yeah. yeah. I mean mm. keep in mind, Blaze started off in Sonic Rush and then she was in Sonic Sex afterwards. Yep. So, <laughs> uh, but getting back on track here with the plushies, it's like, yeah, the right. whisper, the whisper plush, whisper plush is what I want the most. Uh, I do know that Sega Muse uh, Hitting Palace Games is taking pre-orders for these plushies right now. So if you want to, you're looking to get a hold of these plushies, you can go uh, look at her website at Hidden Palace Games. Uh, I I will I will say that she's she's um. Uh, she's priced some of them uh, at like forty five dollars. Yeah, they're a little pricey, but you know she's the only one I know right now that's doing pre orders on that stuff. So if you're looking, if you're looking to get a hold of that stuff, go go look at Sega Muse uh, Hidden Palace Games. Uh, she'll she'll get you hooked up. So plus you're supporting small businesses. So yes, yeah, that is yeah. true. Very, that is point. true. It's a very very good point. Mm-hmm. 